I'm back with uh, another example on proving trig identities. So we started with a simpler one and then the challenge level is increasing as we move on from number one and probably I'm going to do maybe I would say probably 10 examples. So guys uh, again look at this particular one. First of all look at both the left hand side and the right hand side and from looking at both the left hand side and the right hand side I think it is reasonable to say that we should try to start working with the left hand side because there's more room for simplification on the left hand side. So once we decide to start with the left hand side let us go ahead and see what we can do how we can simplify the left hand side what identities we can use and keep in mind you have to have the formula sheet in front of you at all times when you are doing something like this okay so if you're like if you are in the classroom you got to have a formula sheet in front of you if you are working on these things on your uh, at your own pace at your homes uh, again got to have a formula sheet or a textbook in front of you where you can find all the formulas I would say get a formula sheet because then you will have all these formulas listed at one place rather than going back and forth in the textbook like from one page to the other okay so let us look at the left hand side here the left hand side what we can do here is for the left hand side when we think of simplifying this we know tangent can be simplified as or you can write tangent as the ratio it's the ratio of the sine over cosine so we can write tangent as sine over cosine. So let's go ahead and do that. So we can write this as two times, uh, sorry, sine over cosine. So it is two times sine theta over cosine theta. That is my numerator. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the denominator. Here I have a one, then plus tangent square. So I have a sine theta over cosine theta, and then I got to square it, right? Because it says tangent square, and we know tangent theta is sine over cosine. You got to square that. Let us simplify further. From here, I have two sine theta over cosine theta. There's not any room for simplification really on the, in the numerator piece, which is this whole ratio. So we are going to just rewrite it, but you still have to rewrite it and write all the steps. That is very important in this proving identity thing, like writing all the steps. Then let us try to simplify the denominator. Guys, the denominator is gonna look like one plus sine square theta because you have to distribute this square both with the numerator and the denominator divided by the cosine square theta. Okay. Let us not worry about this whole numerator ratio here. Let's just focus on the denominator. Again, with the denominator, you got to combine those two terms, right? That's what we have been actually seeing and doing in the previous examples as well. To combine, you know what to do. You want to create a common denominator. And the common denominator in this case is going to be uh, you got to have a cosine square theta here. Why cosine square? Because there's a cosine square here. But if I get a cosine square here, I got to multiply this one by cosine square theta as well. Okay, that's how we uh, like create a common denominator. And then once we have a common denominator, now we can combine the numerator pieces. So just let us take it over here. Guys, over here we have two sine theta over cosine theta and this whole thing has to be divided by let's look carefully cosine square theta plus sine square theta plus sine square theta and divided by cos just the cosine square theta okay we created common denominator now combining the numerators from here, again, you already know what we are going to do next. We're going to change this big division into a multiplication. And when we convert it into a multiplication, uh, this thing is going to flip. So it's going to look like 2 sine theta over cosine theta times cosine square theta over, uh, that one is cosine square theta plus sine square theta. Okay. But guys, wait a minute. This cosine square plus theta plus sine square theta is the very first Pythagorean identity, the most fundamental and basic of these identities. And we know that that equals to just simply one. So this, we can uh, rewrite this as two sine theta over cosine theta times cosine square theta over one. You can just replace this by, replace this by one. So we use the Pythagorean identity here. Now let us simplify further if we can. And in this case, we still can simplify this because guys, this is cosine squared, this is cosine. 
So one of the cosines will cross out. So one of the cosines crosses out, you are left with two sine theta, cosine theta, but wait a minute. Two sine theta, cosine theta is what? Is sine of two theta. If you go back and look at the double angle identity, the very first double angle identity is what? Is sine of two theta equals to two sine theta, cosine theta. So if it is true this way, then obviously two sine theta, cosine theta is also equal to sine two theta, which means it is true from left to right and also from right to left. So if you get two sine theta, cosine theta, you can, using the formula sheet, using the identities, basic identities, you can simply say that this equals to sine of two theta, and that is exactly what the right-hand side, that is exactly what the right-hand side looks like. So we were able to prove that the left-hand side which looks like functions with tangent only uh, is actually equal to sine of two theta. And it implies from this, what you get here, it implies, maybe I should put it here. It implies that the left hand side equals to the right hand side. Okay. Guys, number four is done. Uh, I will see you next time with number five. Keep practicing these things. Look at them carefully. Look at the steps. Look at the commonalities and then also have the formula sheet ready with you, I mean, at all times when you are trying to do these, okay? Guys, uh, I promise you, if you look at these examples carefully and try to do them and look at the thought processes, uh, you will be really good at these, these things and you will be able to do a lot of these on